frame group zero one. Great. Hit the W key, modify center of the pivot. Let's put the pivot somewhere convenient. How is that the center of that pivot? There's no way that's the center. Modify center its pivot. Okay, that should do much better. Modify center of the pivots of everything now. Fine. D, bam. We will, I will force you to pivot in the correct place. There we go. And let's just leave it there for the moment. Save it. And let's replace our current doors with these ones. Let's go in here, nuke that, nuke that. Yes, we are going to have to go in and make changes to things in Unity, but that's kind of expected. Delete. And we... Oof, the center... How am I handling this? So I just want to inset these into the door. The door itself should not have any geometry between them. So we're going to want to come in here, right click, and grab two of these to do a that, and then grow the selection out. Oops, did not grow properly. Why did you not grow? We do have a full ring, right? Frame up. Looks like it. Right click, grow please. And it's missing. So there's definitely some problems with this geometry, which is good. It's, I'm glad we found this stuff now instead of later on. It just caused us a lot of problems. Delete all that out. And of course we have these infinitely thin ones that we need to get rid of. So let's do that. This, this, and this, 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 nuke, save. All right, perfect, perfect enough. And we need to do the same over here now, since everything's proper. Grow, please, grow. It's doing the same thing right there as well. It grew. Oh, you know what? It's got to do with the fact that it's on the floor and the floor can grow up from there. Okay. Makes more sense. Delete. Save. And let's grab our template door. Hit the up key to make sure we're doing the right thing. Hit control D to duplicate. And let's move this now into place. And where I want this to go and it's gonna be completely based on this darn pivot, is I want, do I have a, let's see, with these template doors, do I have a floor? Yes, I do, I do have a floor, perfect. Okay, hit up, and let us move this to right there, and now I can just pop it right on that as well. So the frame should now encase the door area I have a floor between those elements, and now all I have to do is make sure that the two walls themselves line up to the proper place. So in this case, I'll click the constrain key, the constrain arrow, I'll hit the V key, and I will make sure that this room now is sort of pushed in. Okay, uh, display, show all again. I think we're good. Just gonna make sure I don't have any weird seams, like I'm doing something a little wrong here. It looks okay though. All right, hit up, control D that group. Let's move it on over here now. I'm going to move this pivot though, this time, to the inside of it. Over here, so we're gonna do a DV right there. We're gonna move this right there. Let's come along to the other side of this room now. And uh, let's just move the room. So we're gonna DV the room's corner. And we're gonna hit over. I'm just going to make sure that it is in a line with right there. Perfect. All right, so now we have our doors, uh, a, a standardized door asset, uh, the interior of that door asset. Um, so <laughs> these are weird security doors that come up and down. I highly doubt that janitor's closet does the same thing. Let's go see if we can... Take a look at what it should be like. Yeah, see, all these other doors just kind of open straight up. So that means I need a different kind of door, one that opens inwards. So let's just take our standard door, though, for now. Let's go ahead and nuke this one. And, oh, Control D, W. Move this one over here now. This 
this door is too wide now. It's like something changed, definitely. Let's do edge. So all I'm probably going to do to fake this sort of thing is uh, rotate the door itself. I'm not going to... Okay, so what I'm going to do here probably is... Uh, let's see, can... That supply closet, I can't even tell if it is a door. Obviously should be a door, right? Yeah, I mean, they can't leave that open to the public. So it, it, it's got to be a door. So let's just leave this door as it is because I don't think we'll ever see it open or close and we'll just pretend like it opens up a different way than the rest of the doors. And move this over. We can see, yeah, it's not set up right at all. So let's do a DB into that corner and move this whole bit out to there. And now things should be lined up fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got those doors, we've got that door, not that it matters. Um, and then there's of course all these other doors, and we'll get to that. I'm kind of in the mood to jump out of this for a little bit and start doing something a little bit more interesting. I'd like to start carving up one of these rooms and uh, really fleshing it out, getting a sense of how I'm going to get this to look. But before we do that, let's get this in Unity real quick. So let's do a file. Um, we don't want the reference on. Well, I can, we can leave it on, I guess. I don't know. Let's do dis uh, display, show all edit, delete all by type, history, let's do a file, send to unity, all, oh, it still remembers, it doesn't remember to where to send this, okay, go to file, send to unity, set unity project, I lost all my Maya settings recently, so I have to redo everything from the previous video, and we'll do a night at Georgie's, select, file, send to unity, all, and we'll do assets, FBX, um, uh, what is this, building underscore zero one. Export. Let's jump into Unity now. And go to project, FBX, and let's check out building zero one. Way too small. I believe it's a factor of 100. Let them off. Hit apply. Yep. And let's just reset our stuff. So it actually will go snap right to where the other one was, the other room. So let's actually save this out really quick. Save scene as uh, scenes. And I want to save this as building test. And I'm going to go ahead and let's hide the security room, make it inactive. So I don't have to deal with that at the moment. Okay, well, so why don't we take a quick break and then let's put the cameras in the right places, see what it's going to look like at the end. Mm -hmm. 